everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Take and Makes with the Rapid City Public Library. This week we're going to be celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday, which falls on March 2nd, and we're going to be creating Dr. Seuss-themed bookmarks. Now we're going to be creating the bookmarks from Thing 1 and Thing 2 from The Cat in the Hat. If you haven't read that book, make sure to check it out from the library so that you can read it yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our craft kits and get started today. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction booklet, six glue dots, a piece of white paper, and three pieces of origami paper, one red, one blue, and one white. Let's get started. We're going to take away everything except for the white piece of paper and start with that. So first we're going to fold your bookmark. So first what we want to do is fold our white paper square diagonally, both this way and this way. So I'm going to fold from corner to corner one way, unfold it, and then I'm going to unfold from corner to corner the other way as well. Next I'm going to take the top of the triangle that I have here and I'm going to fold it down. So now we have a half triangle with just the front flap folded down. Next we're going to take the left corner and fold it up to the top point. Oh no, I'm sorry guys, we're actually going to do it different. We're going to take this corner and fold it to the center, the center point, and unfold. And same thing with this one. Now we're going to fold the left corner all the way up to the top, and we're going to just tuck it in right there. Same thing with the right corner, we're going to fold it all the way to the top and we're going to fold it and tuck it in. And now you have your bookmark. So see you can slide it into the side of a book onto a page right there, just like that. Our next step is to make a body for your bookmark by cutting out a red piece of triangle and we're going to paste it right here. So I'm going to measure by lining up my bookmark underneath my red piece of paper and I'm just going to feel where the line is right there and make a line with my fingernail. And now I'm going to fold that line and I'm going to cut it out. Now we're going to attach this right here with a piece of glue from one of our glue dots. So I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other side just so everything sticks. There we go. Next, you want to cut a circle out from your white piece of paper, and it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, Dr. Seuss doesn't use perfect circles, so you can make yours as lopsided as you want. And I actually need to make mine a little bit smaller. There we go. You're going to attach your circle with another glue dot. To the red part of your bookmark body. And then we're going to draw a circle around just really lightly. Kind of in that Dr. Seuss style. And I'm going to write Thing one.
Next, we're going to draw our thing's face. So you can draw any sort of face that you want, or you can try to draw a Dr. Seuss style face. I'm gonna to try to draw a Dr. Seuss style face. So it kind of looks like twos. And we have thick eyebrows, but that are really short. And a cute little nose. And we have a big wide mouth. There we go. And our last step is to take our blue piece of paper and I'm just gonna cut some squiggly lines for some crazy hair. So I have my crazy hair cut out and I'm going to take another glue dot and we're going to attach our crazy hair to our thing from Dr. Seuss and then we have our Dr. Seuss bookmarks. All right guys, thanks for joining me as we made our Dr. Seuss bookmarks. You can use it to mark your place in your favorite Dr. Seuss book. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more crafts from the Rapid City Public Library, and we will see you next time here on Wednesday's Fantastic Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Thanks, guys. Bye.